Video number 60, finding a polynomial given a complex zero. We need to know the complex conjugate zeros theorem, which basically says if a plus bi is a zero, then a minus bi is a zero. It's as simple as that. Here's why. Let's just go through an example. If one plus two i turns out to be a zero, look what happens during the synthetic division process. At the second step, the bottom row, you get negative 1 plus 2i, which is a conjugate, therefore you're going to get a real number. And that's what ends up happening. You get a real number here, you get a conjugate on the other side. Well, look what happens when you do 1 minus 2i in the same exact problem. That second row ends up being 1 minus 2i rather than 1 plus 2i. So you end up getting negative 1 minus 2i, which is still a conjugate. So that's why this complex conjugates theorem works out, because during the synthetic division process, basically the same thing happens. So therefore, find a function of the lowest degree that has only real coefficients and zeros of negative 1 and 4 minus 2 high. Well, if negative 1 is a 0, we know that x plus 1 is a factor. If 4 minus 2 i is a 0, then we know that x minus 4 minus 2 i is a 0, and x minus 4 plus 2 i is a 0, hence the con complex conjugate zeros theorem. Now here's the hard part. We're going to multiply these two binomials first right here okay we get x squared there's your first term okay your outside term is x times 4 plus 2i your inside term is x times 4 minus 2i and your last term is negative 4 minus 2i times negative 4 plus 2i last so we're going to end up doing FOIL on that last step so we're going to distribute the x negative 4x minus 2xi Distribute the x here, negative 4x plus 2xi. Then the last term, look at this. This is a, obviously, this is the middle term is going to cancel out. So therefore, we only do 16 minus 4i squared, which is eventually going to give us a 20. So this is our 20 right here. Now what happens here, this cancels out. The 4x has become 8x. You end up with this trinomial. So now all we have to do is multiply the binomial times the trinomial. We get a pretty awesome result because the complexes all cancel out. Distribute the x, you get x cubed, 8x squared, 20x, that's from distributing x here. Then distribute the 1, you just basically copy everything you have here, combine like terms, and there you are. Alright, so any questions or concerns, send an email, and of course, good times.